single, Wake Me Up at the Crack of Dawn. That's the brand new single by Toronto-based funk R&B band Crack of Dawn, who are legends in Toronto. And in studio with us now, we have Michael Dunstan, who's responsible for those vocals, and Alvin Jones, who you just heard playing the sax. Welcome to What She Said, gentlemen. Hey. Thank you for having nice us. Nice to be here. Nice yeah. To be here. Now, for people who may not know, Crack of Dawn was formed in the mid-70s and was actually the first black band to be signed by a major uh, record company in Canada, really paving the way for future generations mm-hmm. of R&B and reggae musicians. And you're back with a new album. What prompted that? Well, uh, to be honest, I mean, we've certainly been uh, doing a lot of reunions over the years. And the first one uh, that we did was about 1985. It was at the Blue Note, which is on Pears Avenue. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were coming in after Junior Walker and the All-Stars. And uh, we didn't know, but the place was packed every day from Monday to Sunday. Uh, you had to play an entire week back in those days. So uh, the club owner actually asked us, can you guys do another week? Because I guess he lost some money on the, uh, <laughs> the other guy. So uh, we actually did two weeks. So we've been doing reunions over the years for a number of years. And uh, we didn't really stay together because the guitar player in our group uh, has a group called Messenger. And, of course, they had signed with Warner Brothers in the 80s, and they were doing quite well back then. So everybody sort of went their own way and, and did a bunch of other projects. So what was it like putting together an album after a few years off? <laughs> Well, for me, um, I was an orig- wasn't an original member, but mm-hmm. I was in a band called Future Shock at the time when I came mm-hmm. across the border from the States, rehearsing right next door to Cracker Dawn when they signed the contract. So Cracker Dawn was rehearsing to go on the road to play coliseums or what have you. I was rehearsing to go on the road to play bars with Future Shock. I heard them. I heard the singer, and we met in the hallway. And I never seen the band after they that. They never looked back. These guys hired me uh, five years ago. That's all. So what's next for the band? Uh, well, we're uh, coming out with a, with a um, I guess we're doing a remix on one of the songs, the uh, Crack of Dawn song. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's the one that you have. Yep. Yeah, so we're doing a remix right now. It's being done in Miami. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're, gonna, we're looking to add some other people onto it and cool. then uh, send it over to, uh, to Europe. So where can people find you online and connect with your music? We are everywhere online. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon, iTunes. Uh, you name it, we're on it. Tinder. Uh, Tinder, Tidal, Tidal. And you name it. Uh, you can buy our CDs at uh, CD Baby if you want the real cassettes. You can actually buy them uh, uh, at the stores. There are all Sunrise the, Records. Sunrise Records Perfect. right across Canada. Across That's country. awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. That is it for What She Said. We'll be back tomorrow at noon on 105.9 The Region and singing us out now in our live studio sessions. Here is Michael Dunstan from Crack of Dawn, who will be performing the new single, Crack of Dawn.
gonna get it on. Hey, to play at the break of day, and let Mother Nature have a way. See the sun.